Hello subscribers and viewers. Um, thank you so much for um, you know uh, always following my my uh, YouTube channel uh, Kuya Ig World. And uh, today I am going to share you again another video, an educational video actually for uh, C programming language tutorials. And uh, this time it's gonna be another example of a, a programming problem that will eventually be using um, recursive function. Right. So, uh, for me, uh, it's uh, it's one of the most you know hard and uh, so technical topic in programming. Okay, and uh, like I said, if you're good in C programming language, when you tend to migrate to another programming language, it's it's gonna be a lot easier for you guys. Okay, so I am almost done with these tutorials. I'll be posting uh, maybe by next month, next year, uh, array printers and so on and I'll be done with this C programming language and I'll be shifting to another programming <laughs> language okay so because you know I'll um, I'll be uh, making this YouTube channel a school channel okay a school TV and uh, at the same time part of this is it's gonna be a good Samaritan uh, TV also I'll be I will be helping somebody from the poorest of the poor, right? We'll be sharing, you know, little amount of anything, huh? any help. And uh, I will be posting it here, right? Just to, you know, challenge and inspire everybody and somebody to 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 help us, right? So uh, that's it. And uh, I am going to share you guys my notepad right here. Design a program to ask for two values. Okay, so we'll be asking for two values from the user. And then our program will eventually display odd or even series of numbers. Okay, by the way, um, how is our program evaluate if it is an odd series or an even series? Right? It depends upon the two values that, we're, that we are trying to give. Like, for example, if the first value is an even number then will our program will be displaying series of even numbers all right and if the first value being entered is an odd number then our program will just display all odd a series of numbers and it will end up at the last second value because the two values in here actually is the first value is our lower limit the starting point of the series of numbers and then the second value is our upper limit or the basis right the last value so if this first value is gonna be an even or odd, then that will also be the basis for our display, right? So that's it. That's that's uh, that's that's my interpretation with this uh, particular problem. And here, um, you know, when I when I did this program, um, I find it simpler than my previous video, right? Because um. Uh, yes, I did use recursive function, but then I did not issue a command return. I just right call it out the the, the function. Okay, so I'm going to discuss this one. Now here it is. Um, I have here declared three functions. The first one is void print even add. This function will display the series of numbers. Right, and then when I'm going or when we are going to use this function print even add. Um, we need to issue parameters, two parameters, uh, integer parameters. And one is at uh, core, right? And then the other one is limit. Th these are actually variables. Okay. And then we also have this get limit. We'll be getting value from here, the first value and the second value. And while trying to use get limit, uh, we'll be passing parameters also. Uh, character values, five character values. Car A, car B, car C, car D, and car E as in equal. Actually, these five character values um, tends to receive the lower word and the upper, right? Lower limit and the upper limit. I'm going to discuss that. And then the third one is display. Uh, this function will display uh, the, 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 the heading, uh, the, what's it, uh, the message. Uh, say, for example, uh, here. Look at this. This will display even or add from 
your first value and your second value are then followed by series of numbers. Okay, that's that's only the the, the function of this uh, void display. Um, honestly, in real life situation, in when you're going to do programming, uh, this this void display can can just be be part of the main program, main function. But for the sake of discussing uh, function programming concept and recursive concept, then I'll I'll try to slice the program tries or three times okay so that's it now here this is our main program all right main program and uh, I did declare what um, lower limit as my first variable integer variable and then the, the second integer variable is upper limit all right and uh, this is actually the intention of this variables is for the two values that we're going to ask from the user okay and here I, I i did use lower limit as right a cooler variable and this lower limit will call git limit function and uh, like i said when we use git limit function please follow me screen uh we need to pass how many parameters five parameters character values okay so here um we have this lower limit is now calling for the git limit and we are passing five values in here letter l letter o letter w letter e letter r and it's being enclosed with single quote because these are actually what character values right so our c compiler will then get and look for git limit all right so this is now our git limit and our git limit will receive the five character values such that um, our a right will receive L all right and our B will receive what O and our I'm sorry and our C will receive what um, um, W and our D will receive um, letter A and our E as an eagle will receive what letter R and that stands for lower and in here we have this value as a local variable and followed by the display it will display what um, it will display enter then followed by five data placeholder of the character values uh, and the, those these values are actually coming from A to E respectively all right so um, so here the, the value of A is L B is O C is W, right? D is E, and E is R, and followed by the word limit, all right? And here, scan it. Whatever value that we are going to pass, it will be stored to value. So assuming um, the value entered is one, then that one will be stored to what? Local variable value. So our value now contains what? Now take note. Our first our lower limit right is actually the basis for displaying what type of series of numbers either it's odd or even so since one is what it's an odd number so our program will display one three five all odd number series up to depending upon the upper limit value of ours right so here Return value means what? Return 1 to the calling party or the calling variable which is lower limit. So lower limit now receives 1. Right? And then another variable is now calling for what? Um, git limit still but this time the value is upper. It's still 5 character values UPPR now. And this UPPR will be stored here. Right? And the uh, same, and instead of saying enter lower limit, our program will display um, enter upper limit. Why? Because the variable, the value that that we we did pass to get value is the word upper. Right. And assuming the value is five, so then our local variable value contains 5 and return value means pass back 5 to the caller which is upper limit so our lower limit now contains 5 and our upper limit contains and oh no, i'm sorry 
our lower limit contains 1 and our upper limit contains 5 and it moves down right so display lower limit upper limit so we are trying to call display function and while calling we tend to bring the value of lower limit which is 1 and the value of upper limit which is 5 right so our C compiler will then look for display and it's in here so display display is in need of two parameters lower limit and upper limit and this lower limit will receive one and the upper limit will receive right will receive five okay so it's in here our lower limit um has one and our i'm sorry and our upper limit receive five and uh this line will then be executed and it will display what even add numbers from percent d now this percent d will contain the value of lower limit so our low, lower limit is one then followed by the word two and then another data placeholder for upper limit here and our upper limit is how much five then followed by the word r colon and space bar all right so that's it even add numbers from one to five r and then what's next it will go down in here okay so um, print even add is again another function all right and while calling print even add we are actually bringing the same value one and five okay so then our program will locate this function and pass the parameters 1 and 5. Right, this one. And uh, in this particular example, our core will receive 1 and our limit will receive 5. These, are, these values are coming from here. Okay. Now here comes the condition. Okay. Is core right greater than limit meaning is one greater than five condition is false right now since the condition is false do not exit because return means what will exit from from here and look for another statement the next statement is return zero meaning our program will be terminated okay if the condition becomes true now since the condition is false do not exit and look for another line okay the next statement says print percent d then whatever is the value of core our core is how much one now if you can remember the last time we we print in here right even add numbers from one to five thus the cursor is here and we'll, we'll be displaying whatever is the value of core with spacebar. So one now is being, right, is being uh, printed and it moves down here. Now, look at this. This is now the recursive function. Okay. Why? Because we are within this function, print even add, and we are calling itself, print even add. So recursive. It will look okay so the recursive function says what uh, I'm sorry go back to go back to the function okay and when you go back bring core how much is our core our core is one by the way core means current current okay. plus two comma then whatever is the limit our limit is five value limit so meaning we are good as we are passing how much three and five okay three and five because one is actually the value for core or current plus two it's in here so one plus two is three and uh, when we tend to do some recursion we are passing three and five to this function all right so the next statement says is core or current which is three 
right now greater than 5. Still, the condition is false. Now, if the condition is false, do not perform, do not exit, but print whatever is the value of core. Core contains how much? 3. So, 3 will be displayed here. Alright? In space part 2. Okay. Then, it is now going back again to the function. And when it goes back, okay, and it goes back, uh, look at this. And when it goes back, uh, for a while, uh, I'll have to close this <laughs> messenger. Okay. Uh, when it goes back, uh, it is now bringing what? Core plus 2. Our core is 3, right? Plus 2. Then, whatever is the value of limit. Our limit is always 5. Are you following? So, meaning we are good as we are passing 5 and 5. And here comes a condition here. This one. We are trying to ask if our core is which is 5 greater than 5. Still, the condition is false. Now, if the condition is false, do not exit. Do not perform this one, but print whatever is the value of core. Our core is 5, so 5 will be printed here. Alright. Okay. And then, after displaying the value of core, it goes back again. Recursive. And when it goes back, okay, when it goes back, it will call the function. Alright? So, print even. Uh, by the way, this is not print if. This is only print. <laughs> okay. Print even add. Then this time, we are bringing 5 plus 2. Right? Core plus 2. Our core is 5 plus 2. Then, the value of limit, which is always 5. And here, we're good as we're trying to pass 7 and 5. And, condition again, here. The condition says, is your current, which is 7, greater than 5? It's the limit. This time, the condition is full, true. Now, since the condition is true, what's next? Perform this one. Meaning, exit. Exit and go back to here. And the next line is return 0, meaning exit terminate the program so then this is the screen out okay so again and again another programming problem another program that is actually using recursive function programming this one we are trying to call our own function while we are inside right the said function recursive concept okay so I, I hope uh, for my viewers, you are, you are now starting to digest and get to know well in as far as the said concept, recursive concept is concerned, okay? And um, I am hoping that uh, uh, on my last example, I, I hope I can give another two or one example and after that we'll be uh, shifting to another topic of uh, C programming language, an array or what, right? And, uh, I hope today I was able to, to explain the program. I hope I was able to share the, the concept and uh, you as viewers able to, to, to understand and digest the, you know, the behavior of recursive function programming, okay? So thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel, okay? Please share this video, this YouTube, YouTube channel to your friends, to your relatives, classmates, right? Who are you know eager and wanting to learn programming right the best way to be good in programming is to start learning c programming language thank you so much god bless you that is good